watching here is the highly anticipated Bath versus Hippo. And uh, this is the first live casting I'm doing. Um, we have a few people spectating this match. Barry's, Bali, all me, and uh, Dapper Dan are all sitting here um, spectating. I just don't know who's going to win this one. Um, I'm leaning towards Bath since, uh, you know, Hippos. Hippos are nowhere, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm rooting for Bath in this one. They're both, uh, relatively new players, so, uh, you know, I think it's going to be a pretty even matchup. It's ZVZ, Zerg versus Zerg, so, this is anybody's game, buddy. Whew. John Amani, he's coming out with an early overlord. <laughs> Jones. Whoa, what is this guy? He doesn't have any overlords in the making. He's got a spawning pool going down. Oh boy, this could be a circling rush. This is uh, looking like more of an econ build versus a uh, very aggressive move by Hippo. This could be a game ender in such a uh, amateur level of gameplay because if he gets pretty aggressive and Bath doesn't have anything to defend, that could definitely turn the tides in a hippo's favor and perhaps even end the game. But, um, he does have a pool going down, so, um, he will be able to uh, produce some. I'm getting some messages. But he will be able to produce some zergings to defend because this is a pretty uh, wide rush distance map, so even if he does rush, Baff will have units up before uh, he can do any real damage. And even, he has more drone. Um, he definitely has the economic advantage, 14 to 11, so he can push off some Zergling with his drones, even if he, uh, rushes, so. so uh, look like he's not really gonna be a huge problem. He does have six Zerglings on the map. Um, so even does with those, Bam has a spawn to go up. No Zerglings in the making, though. So, he could do a little bit of damage with those. And those openings are. Matt has a little bit too much minerals. Oh, I mean, doesn't have too much, but um, he could expand with that amount of minerals. He's got 300 about. Or he could do, uh, you know, whatever the hell he wants. It's a decent amount of minerals. I think a good move for him would be either buffering his army with some links. Which he's building some links. So. Well, he's building four links. So that's, uh, that's a good base defense, but I think expanding would not be a bad move because uh, he's got a lot of minerals. Let's just dump them into an expansion. And uh, put him in an economic advantage. Uh, he is built. Let's see what he looks like. He is developing metabolic boost. So, some speed. These are all going to turn into speed links pretty soon. Um, and he does plenty of larva, plenty of money. He just needs to get up. Overlords, he's maxing out his army right now. And, um, oh, he's moving out. It looks like he's moving. I'm going to see a, a bit of aggression from Hippo right now. Bap. Shit, there's some lag. Ball stack. Um, Bap has a scout. He's seen this. It's only a two that I've been going by. Holy shit, what the, what the fuck am I lagging? Fuck. Oh, I think that's something else. But, uh, yeah, it's a lot of lines. Um, Baff has sufficient amount to defend though. I th he's not going to be in any trouble, I don't think. He's he's in safe water right now. And he's got more developing, so uh, he can't even reinforce these. It's a long rush distance. And he's just big to go. Oh. If he did some drone harassing, that might have been worth it, but if he just suicided all of those Zerglings, that's a complete waste of minerals, complete waste of everything. The, um, he had put this down at 10 markers and um, didn't get a overload until later, which gave Bath the advantage. That was pointless to do that because his aggressive advantage putting this down earlier was just way too right there. And Bath, he's looking at like he's getting counter. He's coming down. Um, he enough to defend now, so this guy should be right. Um, I think Bath should really retreat right now. He should go in. 
then he should not do anything unless he goes straight for throw, which he isn't. Um, so yeah, back speed link's good, so. I mean, this is just kind of, it's not really a lot. Oh, did some damage to the, I mean, oh, he's got a spot. So, this guy, security's got some roaches going down. Game plan. Now, right now, Bab is sitting on a uh, thousand um, minerals. It would not hurt him to expand, which is what he's doing, or even just build extra hatcheries here, just to be able to pump out um, extra um, things. I mean, he could even go down here and expand so he can get about uh, units closer. He could do it right here, but that would be extremely risky considering you could very easily see that and kill him. Probably not the best move, but I mean. I was playing this guy, that's probably what I would do just because uh, it's probably be such an easy match. But I mean, this is pretty even, uh, even skill level, I'd say. So, uh, I'm anticipating a good, exciting game. Which, uh, it's been pretty good so far. I mean, they, no one's really done much except uh, a couple of gross moves. Yeah, Burrs is saying that. Uh, if Bab uses Mineral Spawn Lara Fester, this game could be over. However, he's just sitting on 900 minerals, 300 gas, and he's got 50 supply, 36 out of 50. So, um, the supply count is 50 to 34. So he could easily, yeah he is, looks like he's pumping out um, roaches, whoa. The production tab. Yeah, five roaches coming up. Ooh, money is going mutas. Ooh, 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 whoa. That's going to be detrimental to Bap. Even if it's just one muta, because Bap has. Oh, wait, he has a queen, so. I mean, against one muta, his base will be alright. If he gets a few, though, which he is, he's going more roaches. If he gets a few mutas, take that queen out easily, just rape everything, and Bap will be able to do nothing about it. Absolutely nothing. And uh, it could be a game ender, game changer. Um, yeah, Faf gets some anti air though. But hopefully, this guy will be able to build enough mutas to do a lot of damage before back and get some anti air. Because uh, he'll need an evolution chamber to go down to get spore crawlers, or a hydro chamber to get hydras. So, if he gets, it, hopefully, he gets enough of these before Faf uh, really gets some. Um, defenses against that because he's definitely at a disadvantage right now so he needs to you know really use these well to, to catch up in the game like the resource income um bap um, their workers are pretty even but bap has a higher income because he has two bases uh and also he only has one extractor so most of is going into minerals not is making a move. He's got roaches, he's got wings. This could be bad. This could be bad. However, those mutos will just rip it out. Uh, rip those roaches apart. 